Hey guys, this is Paul here. I uh, wanted to take a minute here to uh, again openly thank a lot of guys on the forum for uh, giving me a lot of great ideas and ultimately just kind of helping me get through a little bit of a rough spot on uh, my hydroponics project, my Dutch bucket project here. Uh, I didn't get a chance to really set up. I got photos out there, but ultimately never put any video out. So a couple people have asked me a little bit about the system, and I figured, well, a video would probably be a little bit easier to look at. So this is my system. Uh, there's my 50-gallon reservoir buried. I've got a little bit of a water jug on top there just because I had some storms and didn't want this uh, piece of foam board that I've got here that I've been using to kind of keep the sun off the, in Tampa, Florida here. So as you can imagine, it gets pretty hot. It's actually been pretty mild for the past couple of days, but it's gotten up there in the 90s so far. That's uh, nothing more than a 50-gallon Sterilite tub. And it uh, doesn't look like much, but actually it's, it's, it definitely keeps everything pretty chilled. And I've got it buried in there. It helps keep the temperature stable. Right now, even though we're in the middle of the day, it's still holding at 78.4 degrees. I mean, it's almost June. I mean, uh, it's beginning in May in Florida, and that's like usually 80, 90 degree weather. So probably doesn't get up more than 84 degrees. I know that's a lot for a lot of you guys, but for outdoor, unless I invest in a thousand dollar chiller, it just doesn't make sense. So I've decided to manage my heat issues versus necessarily trying to chill it. We'll see how that goes this year. That's my reservoir. Got a uh, pretty nice reservoir. A couple of air stones, lots of air stones in there. Here's something I never saw in some of the hydroponics forums that I added that I thought has been working out excellent. That right there is a uh, from an aquarium store and it really doesn't get a good shot of them. but I'm going to get an overhead shot. That is what's known as a jet pump, or also known as a Venturi pump. That's the airline that goes out here, and what it does is it, it's a uh, 330 gallons per hour, and it just sucks up water from the bottom and jets it out underneath the nozzle in there, and it sucks air from that top part. Um, that kind of keeps a great current going in a swirl, and what I felt that would do is help immediately distribute so I don't get hot spots in my reservoir. And uh, so far, like I said, pH levels and temperatures have been holding excellent. Uh, definitely, um, I've got the uh, Hydro Guard in here from Bionicare. Uh, that's my go-to now after almost losing my entire crop and realizing that, you know, the only way to really combat heat in the outdoor environment and with all the other things like little bugs and rainwater and just general dirt that's going to get in your system the best way to kind of combat the whole situation is not trying to focus on being super sterile but focus on blocking things with beneficial bacteria and again that's my theory i am brand new to this i could be totally wrong tell me if i'm wrong here but it's been working because ever since i added it to it my, my plants have been better everything seems to be healthy and even i don't know why with it what the change here is my uh, my solution has been staying more stable as well. Anyways, probably has nothing to do with it, but it's all the results of whatever has been happening. Solution in here is kept at around 5.8, 5.9, just in case I have any swings up from uh, the heat. You know, I don't want to really keep it any more higher than 6.25, 6.5, because I've got tomatoes, mixed peppers, and uh, cucumbers in here, so I want to kind of find a happy medium. So I keep it just a touch on the low side, just to make sure that if I have any swings, they don't really swing outside of the, you know, comfortable margins of those particular vegetables. Anyways, so I've got a couple of things that are going on that I really want some opinions on. And I figured, well, the video is probably the best way to go about this. I'm getting pretty good growth. These guys literally were, came from seed probably about three weeks ago. These are pepper plants couple different varieties. A couple of them propped up. I didn't know which ones were going to survive once I transported them. So I've got one of them right here is one and there's two here and there's two here. I guess my first question is do you think I really should preen them or pull them or do I should just let them be and let them grow? 
some people say, hey, you really should only keep one per net cup, and others say, you know what, it doesn't really matter. I just really want some opinions. Also, I got some heat tolerant uh, solar fire inside the uh, in this in this unit here. Now, the reason why that's in soil is because here's my next problem. Not necessarily a problem, but I was warned. I've got a couple of vari heirloom varieties in the mix here again. I didn't know what I was doing coming into the summer season here that just aren't really accelerating in growth. I'm getting some flowering, but like this guy right here, these guys were bought at the same time as that one and that one. So you can see there is a huge difference between the size of those plants. Now again, I had some issues where I shocked my plants with an ultra low uh, 4.8 pH level about, about three weeks ago. That was because I overdosed on some pH down, some concentrated version of it. I got it back up in an hour, and then I, uh, then I came across some root, uh, root rot, which I fixed. And again, all of these plants here went through the same thing, but these two are kind of my slow performers. However, this is a, is a, hyd uh, is a hybrid uh, better bush, and this one is a very tall growing. Um, that one is a homestead tomato. Now, again, also in these little buckets that I bought, Heatmaster already got tons of flowers on them. Notice the difference. Now, I bought this guy pre-done, and he didn't have any flowers. I had, like, one flowers. I started adding a little bit of the hydroponic nutrients to the soil, and it's been blown out of control, which is really leading me to the question is, do I pull this? I only got so much space here. Do I pull some of these, knowing full well that they're probably not going to make it, not the peppers, but the other tomatoes, put these guys in? I've also got two right here. Now, these are my Cherokee Purples. They're starting to do a little better than they were. Could have caught me a week ago. I'd have been thinking, eh, i got to yank those two. But that's my options. I've only got so much room for tomatoes. I don't need, you know, 500 pounds of tomatoes here. I know I'm not going to get that, but I'm being exaggerant. I really want some biodiversity, but I really only want to leave. I don't mind the excess. I just want it to be in a crop that's going to work. So, those are two Cherokees. A homestead, and that's going to be the uh, the better bush, and those are two Romas, I meant to tell you. Uh, I don't know if they're San Marzanos. I lost my San Marzano earlier in the year. Rest in peace. That was going to be the, the one I was really going to carry through the year, but I got some seeds, and we'll worry about that in the fall. Here's the other option. I've got one two, three butternut squashes. As you can see here, I've got a fence behind here. I plan on putting either some net, tre uh, some net uh, trellising, which I've got about uh, five feet by 15. And I've also got the ability to put, you know, standard, uh, standard trellis, you know, the wooden stuff. I'll just connect it to my shade cloth uh, frame and just run it straight down, and that might work. I got three of these guys, and, I, and they're, they're growing wild, and I really don't know how strong they're going to produce, but I'm excited. Here is my good problem, but a problem nonetheless. Here I've got cucumbers. I went a little overboard on these guys. As you can see, I've got three to a pot. Now they're growing fine, but they're starting to sprawl, and this weekend I've got to get them trellised. Now, in this three buckets, here's my question. In these two buckets with three apiece, which is a total of six. These are pickling cucumbers, by the way. Which I'm going to, I heard they're put out, they just keep on giving. Do I take them out and put tomatoes in there or replace them all together and do the following? Here is the end of my system. If you notice, I used, on all that's pressurized, I used removable joints. So I wouldn't lose any 
of my tubing anytime I have to clean it, anything like that, or break it down. I rent this location, so you never know if I ever move. I want to make sure we're taking care of things and putting things back the way it was. And I don't want to lose money. So I spent a little extra money and paid for the removal of fittings so I can also adapt it and so forth. Here's the rest of my fence line. It's about five feet. Again, this is a Dutch bucket system. And we are talking about cucumbers here. I've given great thought at adapting an NFT system four to five feet out. Put them in a row. Take the cucumbers out of the buckets. Put them in the NFT system. Run a loop back down to here where my return is. Now we're in the Florida heat. This is May. This is nothing like what it's going to be like in July or August. But at the same time, I don't want to throw away plants that I'm already using or, or doing really well. But at the same time, I also want to be productive with the plants I've already got. Now, if I need extra ones, I've got plenty in the nursery where I've got some cuttings and plugs that I've kept for backups just in case something happens to any of my cuttings so I don't, get, I don't fall behind. So far, I haven't had to use any of them, but they're growing right away, and I can easily replace any of these tomatoes in here with cuttings from these heat-tolerant varieties that are doing really well and more or less say, hey, listen, if you're not putting out, I'm cutting you. Anyways, this has been too long of a video already. I appreciate everybody's opinion on the form. I love your feedback. Thank you guys so much, and have a great day, and have a blessed weekend.